Okay, this is a video explaining an easier way I found to install XBMC Cody on Amazon Fire TV Stick. Okay, the first thing I did was to go in settings on the Fire TV Stick. Go in settings. Once the settings load up, you want to go to system. Then developer options and turn a adb debugging doesn't have to be on for this one because you're not doing anything outside of the fire stick you just want to turn apps from unknown sources on just to be on the safe side you can turn adb debugging on as well once both of these are turned on just go back home unplug the fire stick for about 10 seconds plug it back in to reboot it and then once it's rebooted you go to your phone, use the Android phone, and uh, simply download the file, I'm sorry, program from Google Play Store called ES File Explorer. This is the ES File Explorer app icon right there. Go to Google Play Store, download ES File Explorer. Once you have ES File Explorer downloaded, you go to Internet and you do a Google search or just type in the search bar um, XBMC coding I'm sorry coding download Check, click where it says coding download It'll take you to, don't worry about the Android apps because they won't work on a uh, Fire TV stick. Go to where it says Downloads, Cody, click, and then when it opens up the browser window, scroll down until you see 17.0 Krypton is the latest you know, version. And then where it says Android, you're going to click Release Build. ARM V7A 32 bit. And when you click it, it should prompt you to a download window. I've already done this, but I usually use internet to download all the files. It's going to download in the same place regardless. So once the file can you click on internet, which I do here, and the file should start to download in a few seconds. I'm sorry. Once the file starts to download, I've already done this, so I'm not going to download it twice. But um, you can see I already downloaded it one time. So I'll just delete the, the, the current one. Remove it. And um, I've already downloaded it. So once it finishes, down, finishes the download, you're going to go back into the app called ES File Explorer. Once you've opened the X File Explorer, go to Internal Storage. Scroll down until you see Download. Click on it. And where it says Cody 7.0 Krypton. Okay, you just make sure to confirm the download. Once you do this, go to back to the Fire TV stick and select ES File Explorer. You have to make sure ES File Explorer is running in order for this to work. <sighs> Just close out that box. Once ES File Explorer is running, you're going to go back to your phone. You're going to go to these three lines at the top and scroll down until you see Sender. And you're going to click Sender and you're going to click Send. What I did was I made sure I don't have a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have Wi-Fi, just make sure that your Amazon TV Fire, Fire TV stick and your phone is on the same Wi-Fi connection. But my Wi-Fi is running through hotspot. So I just had a hotspot turned on on my phone and it still worked the same way. Turn the hotspot on on my phone, connect the Fire TV stick to my phone's hotspot. And um, 
tap send. And then you're going to go back down into the download folder where you first saw Cody. Scroll down until you see. You're going to see what it says. Cody 7.0. I'm sorry, 17.0 Krypton. Just type, tap a little bubble next to Krypton till it highlights. I'm sorry, I don't want to work. All right, until you see the green check. And then at the bottom of the phone, it says send one. It's send one. And um, I got my hotspot turned on. I'll just ignore that. Hit cancel. And then you should see something that says AFTM. That's the fire stick. Now select AFTM to send this file to the fire stick. And now I get a prompt on the screen that says Cody 17.0 Krypton RC2. And it says with my phone would like to send Cody to the fire stick and I just select OK. Yeah, you see that right there. It don't take long. I've already done this. It just says overwrite or skip. So I'm gonna over I'm gonna skip it because I've already done this step. But when you get finished, well it's gonna do it anyway. It don't take long at all. It took like fifteen seconds to transfer this file. And it's doing the same thing on my phone. Just transferring the file from phone to the um fire stick. So, as you can see, it says it's completed. Um, once, you, once you've done that, just hit back. Or just hit the back button on the remote. Just to go back into, it's going to ask you if you want to disconnect. Hit yes. Okay, once it does that, it's going to look crazy. I just close it out, go back home, and open it up again. And it'll look normal again. So once you've done that, you're going to go to internal storage, go to a folder called eShare. This folder right at the bottom called eShare. You're going to open eShare and everything you've shared will be in the eShare folder. And you just go to the Cody Krypton app, click it, and then select install. And hit install. Okay, app install. Open. See what it does. Cody on Fire Stick. That's the easiest way that I've found how to do this. Um, just download it straight to the phone. You don't need to use any other internet. You know what I'm saying? And that is working. I still got to configure it though, but it's the easiest way I've found so far.